Hi there, it's Shannon from the Anxiety and OCD Treatment Center of Central Pennsylvania. And today I want to talk a little bit about pet loss and the grief that comes with that. Um, I made a short reel um, that just like the other day that maybe you'll be seeing. Um, but recently um, I had to make the really difficult decision to um, euthanize my dog Ace. And I know if you've been following my YouTube, um, he's been in a lot of the videos that I've made and he was always very well loved by my clients. Um, when I first started my own practice, he would come to the office with me and um, some clients absolutely loved him. Others were like, eh, you know, maybe they weren't dog people, but um, he's been with me for a long time and he was a rescue from Nittany Greyhounds in State College and he was a racer. He had won, um, I think it was three times, three or four times. I can't remember when I originally got him. Um, I did look up his race history. And so I do think it was pretty cool that he was a winner. Um, he really excelled at running. And um, greyhounds are really just the coolest dogs. Um, and I had never had one um, prior to to ace but um he was just a really special sweet gentle boy um and so i just wanted to share a little bit more about him with you guys and i also wanted to just talk about how difficult it's been so it's been about two months since he passed away and um for probably the first four weeks, I couldn't even talk about it or think about it. I was even having some dreams about him. I felt like it was just, I felt so guilty and I experienced a lot of guilt, which, um, I, I hadn't experienced about like the death of a pet before. Um, but that was a new experience. And I just, I felt so, so sad and so bad about myself and having made that decision, for him, um, he was really struggling with getting up. And um, one day I had come home and he was laying on the floor and I don't know how long he had been that way, but he couldn't get himself up. Um, and so it was the next day that, you know, that we made the decision to euthanize him because he was really struggling with his back end. And um, I just, you know, I know for a lot of folks, um, it's such a difficult decision and, um, I really get that. Um, that was, it was really, really hard and I'm still really sad and I still really miss him. And for the first, you know, two weeks, probably after, you know, I would think he was like laying in the room or, you know, and anyway, it was just very, very sad and very hard. And, um, I have started talking about it now, which I do think is helpful. I think, you know, a lot of people keep these things to themselves because maybe they feel embarrassed that they loved or cared about a pet so much. But honestly, I feel like my dogs are sometimes closer to me than any family member. And um, I just, you know, I encourage people who have had the loss of a pet or who are getting ready to experience that to, you know, don't be ashamed, really reach out for help. Um, I know there are even therapists. I think I saw on Instagram the one day there is a therapist that specializes in pet loss and that's like all they do. So there are people out there that you can talk to and that really understand what you're going through. So let yourself, you know, heal in whatever time um, you need and let yourself like I, I've been recently looking at photos of Ace and just kind of letting myself remember, you know, some of the good times and, and actually in doing that, um, looking at like some of his younger days and and you know, maybe like two years, I think he had been declining for about two years. And just looking back, like, you could just see the changes in him. And I think that was a little bit helpful to me through the process. Um, I don't know if I'll ever not have guilt, but I do know that I am like, starting to feel 
somewhat better and able to think of him in a more positive light. And so I encourage you to do the same. And there are people out here to support you through this. So thanks for listening to this. I know it's not my usual type of video. Um, I'm just impressed that I didn't cry, honestly. Like I was really hoping I could talk about this and not cry. Um, but yeah, I just want to give everyone out there who's a pet lover, you know, or even any kind of grief, you know, whether it's a person or not, but just letting yourself heal in whatever time you need and just figuring out what's right for you. There's really no right or wrong in that process. <laughs>